Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my plans for Diablo 4's launch. So Diablo 4 drops in about 24 hours from when my when this video goes live, and I plan to start off as a druid. Um, the main reason for going druid would be two reasons. Uh, number one, I'm a big fan of like shape shifting in general, even though druid's not as much of a shapeshifter in this as like other games, I guess you could say. Um, they do get some cool shapeshifting stuff that kicks in a little bit later, um, primarily their aspects and a few other sources. So Druid starts off quite a bit slow, uh, and I'm totally okay with that. You know, when you're playing a game like this, you know, MMO, ARPG, hybrid, whatever you'd like to call it, you're not playing it for the initial 15 minutes first impression, you're playing it for the long haul, right? So you wanna really find something that you'd like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up this max roll video real fast. It's just going to show you guys how I'm basically going to be leveling. So we're going to be leveling as a pulverized druid. And if you see this big kind of like AOE that they do, that's basically the pulverized skill that we'll be using primarily for X amount of couple of days. You can find this video in the in the description down below if you want to see it. Um, so pulverized is pretty much going to be our, our main theme, right? We're going to be this big bear that is just whomping down this pulverized. Um, sounds really cool. Not going to do the most incredible single target. Leveling will still be a bit slow, uh, but there are some things that you can find on your way uh, to kind of assist you, right? So if you don't know much about Diablo 4, I'm just going to give a little explanation on a few things. So this is like a builder that I have. And it, it, again, if you are curious on this, just Google Pulverized Druid and you'll find so many great sources. I believe there's a YouTuber named Rax uh, who's covering it, has a really nice build. This is more so a planner for me, kind of like an idea of what I'm going to be doing. Um, very similar to what other people are doing. But again, so basically you have these. So if I just hover down the list here on the left and here on the right, these are known as aspects. And when you run dungeons in Diablo 4, you basically can acquire these aspects and then slap it onto your gear. So you're kind of getting these like pseudo effects um, without actually being gated by RNG, right? So this is how you can kind of decide the build you want to play for leveling. And then of course, if you get a cool unique item, you can totally modify and change your character, right? So what I plan on doing is a pulverized druid and if I get lucky and find some, uh, I think it's a unique helmet here called, let's see here, unique. Is it Tempest Roar? It might be Tempest Roar. Storm skills have a chance to generate four spirit. Your base storm skills are now werewolf skills. Yes, if I find Tempest Roar helmet, I might potentially switch into a uh, kind of like lightning wolf. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's really unique. I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, the main thing about that is you'd be using tornado. So that pushes you more into like a wind style. And I think you could maybe even use hurricane. Don't fully know, but hurricane, you know, my POE boys kind of close to like righteous fire, right? Um, but yeah, so going to be playing Druid on launch, going to primarily be uh, basically slamming down with our Pulverize as we go through. I'll just real fast kind of show you guys kind of what we're doing. So Storm Strike initially is our um, our generator for Spirit. Uh, take Storm Strike because it gives damage reduction along with applying vulnerability. More importantly, it shifts us into human form. And then when we use our Pulverize, we'll be shifting into Werebear form. It's going to be important for us to toggle between werebear and uh, human so we can benefit from some effects later um, then every 12 seconds you're over basically your pulverized has this, uh, a huge overpower hit which will help a lot in the early game i don't know how well overpower scales into late game so something i definitely want to check out um, then you've got big defensive buffs such as like earthen bulwark and debilitating roar um, both of these are both very good for keeping you alive and more so generating what's known as fortify uh, we have a lot of Fortify related aspects we use in our build during the leveling process. So you can utilize Fortify as a way to not only mitigate damage, but also to, you know, increase your damage, right? And then moving down a little bit further, we've got Trample, um, supposedly the only form of real mobility on Druid. So that's one thing that's kind of a little bit odd. And then the last skill we get is our ulti Grizzly Rage. But anyway, I'm not here to explain everything, right? Just kind of giving you guys a an explanation of what I'm what I'm doing. Once I feel more comfortable with the game and I've actually played it and soaked up that knowledge, that is when I will be more than happy to present some stuff to you guys, right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Diablo 4 launch as well. I'll be live streaming for maybe 24 hours at twitch.tv slash pox. So definitely very curious, very excited. Initially, I'll be honest, when I first played the betas, the game was okay, you know, max level of 20, 25. There's only so much you could really do. I didn't really get a full understanding of all of the different end game 
things we have in place, right? Between like, I really don't even know all of them, but I know that there's a whole bunch of different things you get to do, um, judging from like the harder dungeons, nightmare dungeons. I don't know if world bosses are a really big aspect at higher level. People call them like capstone dungeons, which is like something for pushing up your world difficulty. So very, very excited. But anyway, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it as well. Um, that's pretty much all I got for now. So take care, have a wonderful time. Thanks for watching everybody. See you guys on the live stream.